Hey everybody, it's Ron and welcome to five rules for living happiness. Now five rules of living happiness is really near, near and dear to me because it goes the whole way back. I have a whole history of way back to when I was a little kid and when I first really made the correlation or the, or the decision to start to really consciously be happy no matter what. And it is the thing that if people ask me about the most in my life. And so I feel obligated to want to share this message with all of you and, and not obligated. I am absolutely 100% delighted to share this message with all of you. It is my absolute honor. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. It's because of you coming and watching this video. I get to do what I'm doing and I really appreciate it so much. Again, I'm covering all this in my in my seven CD audio program. It was five CDs, now it's going to seven. CD audio program is probably be out next month and you can probably pick up. But I'll give you all this information at some other date and time. But right now, enjoy this free video on five rules for living happiness. Now what did I say? I said living happiness. I didn't say being happy. I didn't say letting happiness happen to me. I said living happiness. What does that mean exactly? Happiness is something that comes through us, that comes from deep inside of us, through this body, through this physical expression, and we get to share it with the rest of the world. If you're waiting for somebody or something to make you happy, you're going to get more of that. You're going to get more waiting. You're going to get more things that aren't making you happy. You're going to get more things that are just making you the opposite. They're making you peeled, or they're making you just, <laughs> they're making you just, um, you know, anxious and really just you and, you, and you, why, why aren't I happy? What, where's the things that are going to make me happy in life? I'm going to tell you right now, the things that are going to make you happy in life, this guy, no, I'm not going to make you happy. It's inside of you is what I mean. The things that are inside of you are going to make you happy. That's the key guys. It comes through you. Okay. So with that being said, let's start to get into the five rules here. So I know you don't want to see me going all night. So rule number one is, what would you think rule number one? Anyway, raise your hand. Just kidding. Uh, decide. Decide. When you get up in the morning, you got a window about that big to decide what your day is going to look like. You can, you can make it right now. You get to decide. You get to play with this life of yours. You can decide, am I going to be happy? And in that moment, if you decide, bam, I'm going to be happy, jump out of bed, throw in your old dingy socks, your cool shirt, and your pants that you don't even know if they're clean or, or dirty. Uh, you know, in, in those moments, you get to decide whether you're happy or not. You jump in the shower, you kiss your loved one good morning, you play with your dog, or you, you roll around the carpet by yourself. I don't know what you're going to do, but decide to be happy. And you may say, Ron, but I've got all these things happening in my life. I got circumstance. I just, get, you know, I'm almost bankrupt or I'm, uh, and I just got to have a bad relationship or I'm in a bad relationship. I don't know how to get out of it. Or this or that or the other thing or my job or this or that. You know, there's always some reason. Look, there's a great saying that I love to talk about. If you're going to fight for your limits, you get to keep them. If you're going to fight for your limits, you get to keep them. So if you put that limit on yourself, I can't be happy because of this, guess what? You're exactly right. But if you wake up in the morning, you make a decision, boom, I'm going to be happy. You're on your way, guys. You're on your way. Okay. Now, not everybody's going to be able to do it that easy, but that's the first step. Okay. The second step is to move into happiness. What does that mean? It means do an action. So if you get up in the morning and you say, I'm deciding to be happy and you're having trouble getting those juices flowing, getting that, that happiness to generate through you, it's time to move into an action step, move into an action that will start stirring those happiness, that happiness for you. What works for me is I love to go for a run in the morning. Right now, I have a bit of an injury, so I go to the gym. If you don't have time for that, I'll meditate. If you don't have time for that, I'm not good at it, but I've done yoga once or twice and that's worked a couple of times. I talk to a friend on the phone. Call my mom. Call, uh, you know, engage with somebody. Um, th that's the move. Take an action step. Move. Move into happiness. Number three, see the good in everybody and everything. So to recap, we've decided to be happy. We've moved into an action step to generate ha happiness. And now we're going to see the good. See the love everywhere you go. If you see somebody who's on the outside, really just... You know, 
being just an angry person, look deeper. Look, look a couple layers deeper. See who that person really is. See what they're really going through. Let's have some compassion, okay? And then look at the garbage guy who's whistling and throwing garbage cans around. Look at the attorney, you know, who's telling a great joke. Or, or look at somebody who's, who's caring and, and throwing a great smile out there. Look for the good in everything and everywhere. Number four, be present. And you're gonna say, Ron, I am present. Really? You're present? Are you thinking about your mortgage? Are you thinking about your bills? Are you thinking about those emails? Are you thinking about that Facebook? Are you thinking about that dinner you're gonna go to? I know it's easy to get distracted. I know it's easy to get reacting to things. Be present. You say, well, how do I be present? Focus on one thing at a time. A great, a great way to be present is engage all five senses. So how do you engage all five senses? Close your eyes. Or if you're outside, engage that smell. What's, what's that smell in the air? Really try to pinpoint it. Uh, feel what you're feeling. What's the wind feel like? What's, what are you hearing? Open your eyes. What are you seeing? Engage all five senses. What are you smelling? That's a great way to engage your presence. Your presence in the moment. If you can stay in the moment, then everybody you come in contact with will get pulled into your moment as well. Which leads me to my last rule. Give happiness. Have you ever been at a checkout line at a grocery store and the cashier just seems you know, very not happy to be there? Well, what happened when you showed a great smile, you made a joke, you really engaged with that person? They smiled for the first time and the first 10 customers, at least you've been since there, at least since you've been there, <laughs> uh, they smiled. And what happened? You smiled back. You guys created this smile bond together. Uh-oh, the person behind you, they're seeing the smile down. They want to engage too? How many times does that happen to you? That's the secret. The law of giving and receiving. Whatever you want more of, give it away. Give it away. You want more money? Give it away. Want more happiness? Give it to somebody. Give a smile. Give a look. Give a glance. Give love. Give compassion. Give a hug to a stranger. But if you, if you want to see a great, something great to happen really fast, if you want to engage your happiness really, go to a total stranger and say, excuse me for a second, can I hug you? And they're going to go, uh, 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 they're either going to say, uh, this guy's crazy, get away, or okay. And if they say, okay, give him a great big hug and say, thank you very much and walk away. See what happens. If you're going to give it away, in line at the donut shop, you know, you're buying all oh, one of those you know, really fresh sugar donuts that I don't eat often, but when I do, they're delicious. Buy your donut for the person behind you. Don't even tell them. Don't even tell them. Do it secretly. They're looking at something else. Hey, can I, can I buy that person's donut and coffee? See what happens. Not to them, to you as you're walking away. Give it away and you'll get it back. So guys, that is the five rules to living happiness. Again, you live it because it generates through you. It comes through you just like life is happening through you. So does happiness. And every time you share and be, live, generate happiness, you're creating a better place on this planet. Okay. To recap, number one, decide happiness. Before you get up in the morning, before you make any other decisions, you've got that window where you first are, you wake up in the morning and you're groggy. Make your decision to be happy. Number two, move into happiness. Move a muscle, change a thought. If you move, start moving, doing things you know will get you pumping, get you moving, move into happiness. Number three, see the good in everybody and everything. Number four, be absolutely present. Use the five senses, tune in, turn on. Number five, give happiness. You give it away, you'll get it back. Live like you can only imagine to be and live your life by design. If you loved this video, go to my website at ronebaker.com, fill out the form, and I will get your email address and I will keep you up to date on all future videos in this free training video series. Thank you all so much because you being here, I get to do what I love to do and I can't thank you enough.